Dear colleagues, uh, this is the second part that uh, I'm going to discuss uh, the problems that we're encountering with uh, currently with the virus SARS-CoV-2 and the disease COVID-19. The second part uh, will belong to our discussion about a patient case that I had during these days and uh, the measurement that I used to take care of the ARDS pattern, he went through it. Okay, in the first part, I recommended or suggested some leading points how to uh, deal with this deadly virus. According to these suggestions, we are not going to eradicate the virus or kill the virus, but we are going to uh, attenuate the ARDS condition that is deadly for our patients. Eight suggestions about recombinant ACE2 soluble form, interferon gamma, though it was not successful in MERS2, zinc chelating agents, systematic, systemic anti uh, receptor of uh, angiotensin 2, and insulin glucose mixture, aerosolized antiprotease, and systemic antiprotease. And uh, the last one is antilectin. Okay, ARDS in the in, uh, uh, general term is a pattern in the respiratory system. It is a mixture of aerated area and non-aerated area with the prominence of non-aerated area because infiltration of uh, immune system cells and edema in the interstitium and uh, filling of the alveolar space with fluid, all together produce shunting through the respiratory system for the patient, and the shunting ends up in low oxygen in the blood or hypoxemia. But in ARDS pattern and this disease, we can see that there is discrepancy or inconsistency between the feature of the radiologic images and autosaturation. Radiologic images are worse than autosaturation. So we have something in the respiratory system which is a low shunt. Why? According to my talk about the pathological feature of this disease, we could find that joint cells are produced and T helper 17 comes to the tissue of uh, the respiratory system. And these giant cells are produced by the aid of the virus, the environment, and the body itself. What are these giant cells? The giant cells are cells that, that is produced by accumulation and assembly of many cells with large endoplasmic reticulum and a pool that within that Protein S of the virus, which is responsible for the, for the pathol pathogenesis of the virus, is produced there. And these, I think that it might be a good theory to consider the giant cells when they are large enough, when there is hundreds of or thousands of these giant cells, the pathological feature of radiology images might be produced. It might not be a regular form of ARDS, with filling of the alveolar space with fluid and producing great shunts. But when the giant cells, thousands of giant cells, are disrupted, then the alveolar space will be filled with the fluid and the patient's hypoxemia aggregates. This is the time that our patient go down and, dem uh, and disease. Okay, so ARDS has a mixture of distribution of non-aerated and aerated area with each other, with the prominence of non-aerated area. Abnormal findings in these patients are uh, ground glass opacities, consolidations, interstitial edema and fibrosis. According to our findings in serious kind of this new disease, in this novel disease. 
is that its involvement is very rapid. Its involvement is very rapid. It rapid goes through involvement of all the respiratory fields. And the timetable of this disease is about three weeks. Within the three weeks, within the first one week, some small lesions appear with some consolidation, opacities of granules, and then in the second uh, week, which is the peak changes of the respiratory CD scan appearance, reticulum pattern, and also consolidation and also granulous opacity occur together. And in the third week, all the things inconsistent with the clinical feature subsides and resolves. So the clinical feature and the changes in the CD scan are inconsistent with each other. And for the sake of uh, following up the patients and for the sake of monitoring of the disease, we can uh, request serial CD scans. And follow-up CT scans can help us to find the outcome of the patient. Which patient go to die and which patient uh, improves in clinical status. You know, this disease is characterized by multifocal distribution of middle and lower lobe involvement. Now I'm going to discuss and report a case that we as a team were all involved in this treatment with uh, our infectious disease specialist and radiologist. This patient is a 41 year old man with history of body pain, muscular pain and fever. For the sake of fever and falling Bad. He went to CD scan, and a CD scan of the chest was done for him. Within that CD scan, a small area of consolidation could be found, but it was ignored. From the March the second through March the fifth or fifth of March. He didn't receive any drug or remedy. No drug was administered to him. And in March the 5th, the CD scan changed. I would like to go back to the 2nd, Mar 2nd of March CD scan. You can see the long fields are good in appearance, but there is a con very small cons consolidation there. So, according to my previous slides, this disease evolved rapidly. And in March the 5th, all the lung seems to be involved in the disease. And grand glass appearance to some degree can be seen here. And a consolidation here. In March the 5th, the patient was admitted at hospital. This is the axial view of 5th of March. CT scan of his of my patient's lung. This is the sagittal view. You can see the consolidation here and prebronchial infiltration over here. In March the fifth, the patient was admitted at hospital, and we started to administer Lozarta plus glucose insulin potassium plus a regimen of four antiviral drug. So this is in his CT scan axial view in March the 7th. Go back to this axial view. You can see a hue of grand glass in the left, in the right lung, which was not still involved with a consolidation like here. And in March the 7th, the grand glass appearance, salt pepper appearance 
of the right lung improved, and the consolidation went to a reticular formation appears. You know, in Lancet, uh, February 24th, there is an article about the changes and see this kind of these patients. It is said that in the second week, the reticular formation can be seen. We could see this reticular formation or something like the resolving appearance of the lesion exactly five days after the onset of the disease, not in the second week, and two days after administration of low sulfur. Go back to the axial view. This consolidation, please compare it with this lesion in March the 7th. We can see ergopogram here. So the lesion is going, was going to resolve. This is the sagittal view of March the 7th. Once again, the lesion seemed to be resolving. And here, the infiltration around the bronchus is resolving as well. So five days uh, after the onset and two days after the administration of Lozartan plus the four antiviral drug regimen. Okay, this appearances is just what we see, but we should have a something quantitative to compare the CD scans. I used Hansfeld units. Hansfeld unit is a unit which shows and consider the attenuation of the pixel of the uh, uh, CD scan pictures. When it is minus 1000, it shows the air in the CD scan. And whenever it reaches to zero from minus 1000, it shows that the part of the CT scan that is studied is go, uh, uh, going from air to an aerated area and to tissue. And when it reaches zero, it shows the water. And from water zero to 1000, it goes through, it reaches or make close to tissue, non-aerated, area or bone, non-aerated. Here it reaches from minus 1000 to zero. It goes through air to some aerated area, a mixture of tissue and aerated area. Here is the table that you can see the Hansfeld unit of air is minus 1000, fat minus 50 to minus 100, and water is zero. And so we have a quantitative measurement of what we see in the city scale. Here, March the 2nd, we have the patient's CT scan. I compared the axial CT scans in the same level with the same WW and WL and the same condition of CT scan uh, taken. Okay, we can see the mean Hansfeld unit of the right lung of this patient in March the 2nd is minus 846. So really, it is the aerated area is more prominent. The tissue edema infiltration cannot be, is not prominent. The predominant area is full of air. In March the 5th, the same level of CD scan axial view, you can see that the ground glass appears that appeared within four days of the onset of the disease can now be quantitated. The mean Hansfeld unit of the right lung in this level is, has gone to minus 721. Go back. Hansfeld unit, mean of the right lung, minus 846. And here, minus 721. 
So I, I we started Lozart and GIK an anti for antiviral regimen. After two days, in March the seventh, the same level of city scan axial view, the same condition, Huntsfeld unit of the right lung went through minus eight four seven. It shows that aerated area increased. You know that in that in this disease, I think that all the respirators, all the filtered lungs are uh, involved. And nothing, just the consolidation of the or the lesion. The lesion of the consolidation is the part that is involved much more than the other areas. <clears throat> so, we could find something. Lozartan for two days decreased Hansfeld unit of one, one lung, right one, which was not involved in the disease with consolidation. But according to the view of Mars the fifth, the right lung was also involved generally, not in a solid single area. Lozerton this day, the second day, or better to say, for uh, three days, two and a half days, Lozerton was given to the patient. And we discontinued Lozerton because we did it according to an article published in BMJ that showed, or better to say considered, increasing of ACE2, the receptor of the virus, with Lozerton. This was a discussion, this was a, a letter to editor, and it was, it was responded to. Because we didn't want that the patient, Lozatan, make harm to the patient who discontinued Lozatan, but GIK continued, and four antiviral drug regimen continued. Let's see what happened. In March the 10th, just four days or three days after the cessation of Lozart. We can see the appearance of general appearance of the right lung with uh, opacities and with a new opacity here. Just three days after cessation of Lozart. Once again, I would like you, I would like to draw your attention to comparing the city scans. March the 5th with Huntsfield, minus 7 to 1. March the 7th with Huntsfield, 8, 4, 7. And with this March 10th, minus 7, 9, 1. This might be a good quantitative measurement. I would like the experts, I would like my colleagues, lead me if I am true or not. Okay, on March the 10th, after considering, after realizing that the lesion has increased, we started Lozotone once again. And in March 14th, we reached Huntsville unit minus 763. Though we started Lozotone for four days. What happened? This Hansfeld unit is the general Hansfeld unit or the mean Hansfeld unit of the general appearance of the right lung with this consolidation expanded compared to the right lung consolidation in March the 10th. We have uh, put this consolidation in our measurement too. I didn't want to omit it or ignore it. It decreased, or, in, or better to say, it increased the Hansfeld unit because of its appearance, its consolidation. But we have here something else. Though the mean Hansfeld unit of the right lung, with resolving of its consolidation here, 
is once again minus 763. This Lozo term uh, can do something for this patient. According to this slide, might not. But I use another measure. You know, here is a coronal view of the lesion of the lung in CT scan in March the 10th and March the 14th. You can see the lesion in March the 10th when Lozotin started. Please go back to my previous uh, slides. We started Lozotin in March the 5th. We discontinued it in March the 7th. And between March the 7th and March the 10th, the lesion expanded. In March the 10th, we started Lozotin once again. But the thing that occurred, resolving of the left lung lesion. Here, you can see the resolving in the same plan of CD scan, both of them. And the lesion in the left lung is resolving. Maybe the dose of the lungs of time was low. I use another thing. To see whether losotone is uh, can do something or not, I use regional Hounsfeld uh, measurement. Uh, I divided the lung in the supine position into upper, middle, and lower part. And uh, in March the second, you can see the upper Hounsfeld upper lung. In the right side, the Hansfeld unit is minus 914. 914. And the middle is nine, minus 909. So the aerated area is more in the upper part. And the aerated area in the middle part has decreased. And the mean. Hounsfeld unit in the lower part is minus 888. In March the 5th, in the upper part, the Hounsfeld unit is minus 864. The middle is minus 796. Go back to the previous slide. The upper part is minus 914, more airy. The upper part minus 864. The middle part minus 909. The middle part minus 796. And the lower part minus 687. And the middle part in, in a lower part in March the 7th. When we when we uh, uh, discontinued low time. So it shows that regional area of the lung has got unerated by, uh, uh, after the cessation of Lozot. Okay, we started once again Lozot on in March the 10th. What happened there? We can see that the lesion at the right side is decreased, is resolving with some uh, fibrotic uh, uh, changes and expansion of the lesion in the right side. So we have mean of minus 836 in the lower part, minus 917 in the middle part, and minus 921. It shows that although the lesion in the right lung started and appeared and expanded, the other part of the lung could get rid of the disease, more aerated, better to say more aerated, not get rid of the disease because the disease is not gone. And in the, le in the left side, you can see the mean of minus 891. This lung field 
belongs to the long field that was involved firstly. Dear friends, till now we have studied the changes in Hounsfield unit in the actual views of the serial CD scans of the patient. I would like to present a histogram showing as a summary to our study. There are five histograms in each Hounsfield unit of the total right long and the upper, middle and lower parts of the axial view and the right long during the days of admission of the patient. Uh, it is obvious that Hounsfield unit in March the 2nd in total right long and three and the three divided parts shows enough aerated areas in the onset of the disease. But Hounsfield unit during the four days after the onset of COVID-19 in this patient, re, uh, considering that no drug, no drug was administered in all parts of the right lung shows a rated area has decreased generally in March the 5th compared to March the 2nd significantly. After the start of Lozor plus glucose, insulin, potassium and four antiviral drug regimen, changes of Hounsfeld unit between March the 5th and March the 7th was very conspicuous that an aerated area increased significantly. But once again, with the cessation of Lozar, despite the continuation of GIK and antiviral drugs, the aerated area, according to Hounsfeld unit, decreased from March the 7th to March the 10th. And, and you, as you could remind, an expanded lesion also appeared in the right lung as well. But from March the 10th, on till March the 14th, the aerated area, speci especially in the upper and middle part of the right lung, increased significantly. Yet due to the lesion in the right lung, mean Hounsfield unit in the right lung was undesirable. It shows that Lozor could limit the development of ARDS in the right, right, in the right lung between March the 10th and March the 14th, just to the opacification that appear in March 7th, in addition to opacification in the left lung. It is very important to notify that during these days and in the mid of, in the end of the first week and the, till the mid of the second week, the opacification in the left lung went through resolution. It is not in the third week, but in the, at, in the uh, end of the first week till the mid of the second week. Is Lozor effective in subsiding ARDS in COVID-19? In this case, it shows that, yes, it was successful and effective, but it is needed to do RCTs. Thank you for your patience. I wanted to talk about Lozartan. You know, there is very uh, 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 different ideas about Lozartan. And Lozartan is an inhibitor of angiotensin II receptor. The receptor of the virus is H2. In some animal studies, it was seen that angiotensin II blockers can increase the expression of the gene uh, responsible for producing of uh, production of ACE2. So ACE2 of expression and uh, other tissues might be hazardous uh, for the patient suffering from COVID-19 or SARS. But what happens? For overexpression of ACE2 with angiotensin blockers, angiotensin receptor blockers, it needs for about 25 days. After 25 days of low sarsan or angiotensin blocker, receptor blockers, administration, overexpression of ACE2 is seen in animal studies. Another thing, in this disease, exactly the same that HIV does, there is downregulation of ACE2 
What is it? If it is then regulated, how the virus load increases? According to a sort of infectivity, and exactly the same as HIV does, HIV attaches to its receptor called herokine receptor 5, and it downregulates it on over the lymphocytes. Through this downregulation, infectivity of the virus increases. Exactly the same that occurs in SARS, occurs in COVID-19. Downregulation of ACE2 seems to increase, is the phenomenon that increases infectivity of the virus. So if we have downregulation of ACE2 in the tissue with the uh, contrary effect of angiotensin 2 and ACE2, we have prominence, predominancy of, predominancy, not prominence, predominance of angiotensin 2. And angiotensin 2 is responsible for vasoconstriction, increase the pulmonary pressure, pulmonary artery pressure, increase the inflammatory cascades, and exactly the pathway into lipin-6, into lipin-6 receptor. And this pathway go through production of or activation of JAK2 STAT3 pathway. JAK2 STAT3 pathway is a pathway that helps the cells to survive. Wheat cells, giant cells. And the giant cells are responsible for more, in, more virus replication. If we can break this pathway and downstream pathways after interleukin-6, we can be successful in eradicating the lesion in the lung, production of giant cells, and infectivity of the virus. So if we administer Lozart, angiotensin 2 cannot do its job. So the inflammatory pathway downstream the angiotensin 2 and interleukin 6 breaks. Exactly the same that that new drug, a novel drug called Actemra. Okay, Actemra is an inhibitor of interleukin 6 receptor and it breaks the downstream pathway after interleukin 6 receptor. Lozartan is angiotensin receptor blocker and it inhibits the downstream pathway after angiotensin 2 and its receptor. Lozartan is cheap and Actemra is very expensive. Production of Actemra manufacturing it is very hard. It is difficult, but production of Lozartan is very usual. It's a usual manufactured product. Thank you, and I would like you to link me and help me to find if I'm not true. This video is not a video to show that Lozartan can do, can exert its effect, can treat COVID-19, but it, it might break this uh, course of ARDs in these patients, the phenomenon that kills us. I would like here to thank Dr. Iravanumanish, the chief of the hospital, and Dr. Hamid Sattari, deputy of therapeutics, who always support us and provide us with all the needs and with all the uh, equipment and demanded uh, facilities to overcome the diseases to, to treat our patients. And I would like to thank Tehran Chamber of Commerce to provide and get, uh, make the scene ready for recording these educational clips. Thank you. You can find me through my email, ask me any question, or we can discuss mutually with each other. Thank you.